Humans are curious to discover new animals that have never before been discovered. But some of these creatures are so weird, they literally make our skin crawl. From monkeys that look like they have burned skin, to frogs that look like snails injected with steroids. We have listed it all. Here are the weirdest animals ever to be discovered on this planet. Before we continue, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more weird and creepy videos such as this one. The Pink Ribbon Worm This really weird creature was discovered by accident when a man was fishing in the port of Penggu in Taiwan. While he was on usual fishing duty, he discovered a weird jelly-like worm. At first, the man thought this creature was possibly a piece of cloth that had fallen from another person, but this thing would move in the water just like any other sea creature. This worm is definitely known as Nemertia, and it is highly dangerous for anyone that comes in its way. At first glance, the pink ribbon worm looks kind of silly, but in reality, it has a proboscis or feeding tube that secretes a mucus-like substance that paralyzes its prey. These worms mostly live underwater in tropical regions. It's a rare event to see one of them on the surface. They are mostly spotted in Taiwan and places near it. Western Tarsier People usually find big-eyed animals to be cuter than those with small eyes, but this animal's eyes are just out of this world. This little creature has eyes bigger than its brain and its stomach. It literally looks like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. But the Western Tarsier's eyes are that big for a really good reason. It is because they have the best natural night vision goggles in the world. Their eyes help them find food such as insects and small invertebrates during the night. It also uses its sharp and dangerous claw-like hands and feet to easily hop from one tree to another. They are basically creepy night monkeys. If you want to spot one of them, they usually live in Borneo and parts of Sumatra. But there also have been spotting of this animal roaming in the forest of the Philippines. Sloan's Viper Fish The fish looks like it comes straight out of a horror movie. Its fangs are so large that they hang outside of its mouth. But that's not the only thing that's creepy about them. They also have these weird black beady eyes that just give you the shivers. They don't just pop up in shallow waters to bite. They are actually deep sea creatures. They usually roam the waters 1,000 to 2,000 meters below the ocean's surface. 1,000 meters under is pretty dark for a fish to see. So these creepy creatures use bioluminescence to create a small lamp that dangles from its back so it can help them with their vision and also make it easier for them to locate their prey of other small fish and crustaceans. Yeesh. If they feed on small creatures, then why in the world do they have such scary fangs? This world will never fail to amaze us, I guess. Anyway, these creatures cannot be spotted alive on the surface of the ocean, but you can spot them at Iceland's annual festival of the sea at Reykjavik Harbor, where fishermen annually display weird and creepy sea creatures they have caught throughout their journey. Bald Uakari When I first saw this monkey, I literally got goosebumps. I literally thought that the poor creature had burned his face in an accident or something, but that is not the case. These monkeys just naturally look like that. Apparently, their red face is caused because they have a bit too many red blood vessels on their face. These funny looking monkeys only live in the deep forests of Peru, Brazil, and Colombia. The only way to spot these creatures is by visiting the Amazon rainforest in the floating Yuakari Lodge located in Brazil's remote Mamirau Sustainable Development Reserve, where tourists have the chance to see many other amazing animals such as the pink river dolphins and three-toed sloths. However, the bald Yuakari has a pretty funny story behind them. Native South Americans would call these monkeys monkeys the English monkey to make fun of the sunburnt white men that visited their home hundreds of years ago. All in all, these monkeys are rather harmless. They mostly feed on seeds and fruits. They like to spend their time closer to the ground in the dry season and on top of trees in times of rain. Mata Mata I don't know what to compare this to, but it, it kind of looks like a snail on steroids. Some have also compared it to a pile of rotting leaves, but it's neither, actually. This creature is a freshwater turtle. It uses its weird mouth as a low-pressure vacuum to suck in small fish that are near them, while their nose acts as a snorkel. Believe it or not, these creatures get big. They can weigh as much as a three-year-old healthy toddler when they reach adulthood. The Mata Mata lives in South America, mainly in eastern Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, and pretty much every South American place that has streams and small ponds. Axolotl This seriously looks like the happiest creature in the world. It is considered the Lazarus of the animal world, and it is one of the very few sea creatures that have some fascinating healing powers. 
Can you believe that this creature is able to regrow its limbs, brain, and even spinal cord? And one of the reasons that this creature has this ability is because it somehow stays in the larval stage throughout its whole life. But don't mistake it for a fish because this sea creature is actually an amphibian. Sadly, the axolotl is becoming endangered and now it can only be found in Mexico City in a lake called Xochimilco, Bubarusa. This animal has really inspired masks among the islanders in the Adudu Nantu and Tungkoko Nature Reserve in North Sulawesi, Indonesia, who share the same habitat as this unusual pig or deer. The matter is that no one can really point a finger as to what it is. This creature is mostly known for its unexplainable horns that come out the middle of its face. These animals are really rare and getting lower in number by the day. Even though it is illegal to poach them, hunters still attempt to hunt them down. An interesting thing these animals use their horns for is head-to-head -head fights with one another. Proboscis monkey. You have probably seen this monkey before as it is quite popular. The first thing that comes to most people's minds when they see this monkey is, man, these monkeys are ugly. Well, this is because this monkey has a really large nose, a pot-like belly, and thin lips. This monkey can weigh up to 50 pounds or around 23 kilos and only feed on unripe fruit. The reason they eat nothing else is that their body can't digest it. Even if they eat softer fruit, they feel unwell as the increased sugars in more ripe fruit make them bloated and sluggish. These monkeys are only found in Borneo and coastal areas nearby. Tree hoppers. Tree hoppers are one of the best insects to pull off the art of camouflage by using their horn-like protrusions to make other predators think that this is just a bunch of dead leaves. Their powerful hind legs allow them to scarper if their roost is rumbled. There are thousands of species of this weird looking insect, but sadly, they do not live more than a couple of months. These insects are all over the world, except of course, for the North and South Poles. They are so widespread due to their ability to protect themselves from predators. Pus moth larva. I hope you're not watching this video while eating because this larva's face is enough to give anyone an upset stomach. Even though it doesn't really make sense as to what we're looking at here, this larva is an expert at making people feel uncomfortable. But its gross image helps it frighten predators from eating it. They also are capable of squirting formic acid. They can be found all across Asia and Europe. Ground pangolin. This thing looks like it came out of a Game of Thrones episode and it's about to shoot fire from its mouth. But in reality, that is not the case. They are harmless and even when threatened, they only bundle up and even sometimes they spray a foul smelling spray emitted from its anal glands, pretty much like a skunk. This creature is fully covered in scales that help it become a tough armored clad ball whenever it is in danger. However, these animals are rare as they are extremely endangered species. Leaf Horned Frog The leaf horned frog could easily pass as a fallen leaf and it sure looks like it's got an attitude. Maybe it's because of its weird shaped eyes. This animal lives on the growth of moist forests, and thanks to its scaly looking skin, it is able to hide from predators and even make it easier for them to catch food such as lizards, crabs, other frogs, and even small rodents. They live in the upland forests of Southeast Asia, Southern Thailand, and Peninsular Malaysia, but they are really hard to spot because of their skin. You need to be really focused to find these creatures to maybe have a chance to see one up close. Which one of these creatures did you find the weirdest? I think that the puss moth larva wins first place. It simply looks too confusing and disgusting at the same time. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and see you next time.